Hi everybody. <clears throat> Got my uh, large toroid wound up kind of Tesla style. I've got four primary coils wound on there and I've got one secondary coil underneath. Secondary coils 132 turns. Primary coils are 15 turns each. Each opposite primary coils in series with each other. And I've got them wound so that the input power comes first into this coil, ran in series with this coil and is switched on a negative end. And then on the second phase, the power goes into this coil, around through this coil and switched on a negative of that coil. So it's um, two phase inverter style for AC. So but these are the pulses at the moment on the MOSFET gate, it's about 3.2 3 kilohertz. Um, Two percent for US nice healthy pulses. Okay, so over on the scope, which is on the AC, you get that sort of sort of thing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to screw up the pulse width and try to stay focused on the scope to show the, the two opposite wave, waveforms joining up. This That's the voltage of the source battery. That's the battery on the recovery diodes. That's the voltage of it. And this is the uh, this battery here is on the DC output AC. It's going through a full wave bridge rectifier and charging those caps, and the battery is connected in parallel with the capacitors. I'm just using a um, two-stage multi-purpose pulsar thing circuit so I'll try to get my screwdriver in there okay going to okay you can just see there the come apart you can see the in between the ring out it's, there's a S shape that starts at the top and then there's a, a bottom and after the ring out starts at the bottom and then the top one's to the right of it so they're opposite so when I screw them up together What happens is eventually they join up and end up with a square wave AC. 
which is pretty neat. And by that time, the input's gone up to about one amp. Recovery battery's pushing 14.2. The battery on the DC outputs 13.4. What we've got here is um, Twenty percent. Twenty sixty four US. Two forty seven. This is only one phase. It's only on will go to one MOSFET. So with a 20% duty on one MOSFET and 40% duty for two MOSFETs, we've got a square way and charged batteries. Interesting. So I'll give it a bit more width. And you see the little lines disappear all together. We go up to twenty twenty two percent duty to achieve that. The reason is really the camera only be fuzzy. It's a pretty neat square AC wave, rising wave. It's only being clipped by the battery and the AC output, otherwise it'd be really big. It wouldn't look so neat. Anyway. Good. Um, here's, here's the way I've got it wound. The O, I'll make a drawing of this and post it on the website on the, on the uh, energetic forum. Uh, the O and the U stand for the O means that the wire as it goes around the toroid goes over the top and the U means it goes under 
this is looking from the top okay thank you thanks for watching